Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about something that hasn't been talked about in quite a while, so I decided I would go ahead and talk about it. So I'd made a video on this once before and only once, and really I think that's been the case for a lot of YouTube channels, and that is Minecraft Story Mode. So for those of you who don't know, Minecraft Story Mode is a story-driven Minecraft game. It's completely separate from Minecraft. It's not going to be like DLC or anything like that. It's going to be a completely separate game developed by Telltale Games and Mojang or Mojang, whatever. Uh, there's a million different ways to say it. And it's going to be a completely separate game. And, uh, and like I said, it's story driven and it's going to be pretty cool. So there hasn't been a whole lot of news about it lately, but I'm just going to be going over some of the most recent news that I didn't cover in my original video, which was a while ago. And uh, just to fill some people in who haven't actually heard of it yet. So what can you expect from Minecraft story mode? Really, it's just going to be, like I said, a story-driven game. It's not going to be about Steve or Alex or anything like that. It's going to be just, you know, new characters. And some of they, I think they are going to include Steve, like, randomly. And maybe even some of the Minecraft developers in the game randomly. But, you know, the main characters and stuff like that aren't going to be uh, Steve or Alex. They're going to be new characters. And I'm not exactly sure how the game is going to be set up. But it does seem fairly cool. No, not fairly cool. Really cool. And also the original developers of Minecraft are going to be involved in the development process. So that's pretty cool because they want to stick to Minecraft as much as they can. They don't want to make a game that's, you know, it's called Minecraft Story Mode, but it doesn't really have a whole lot to do with Minecraft. So I'm glad that they do have the original developers on this as well. So they can get it to be as close to Minecraft as possible with having the story mode added. So let's see. Also, it's going to be on a wide variety of platforms, probably a lot more platforms than you would think for a new game. But here we go. It'll be released on the Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. I wouldn't be surprised if they added Windows Phone here soon. I know that this is mainly Telltale Games development and stuff like that, but I would assume Mojang, Mojang, I'll say it like that whenever I want. Um, I'm assuming that they would add Windows Phone because Microsoft did buy out Mojang, Mojang, whatever. Okay, I'll stop doing that. They did buy them out, so I'm assuming they will add Windows Phone. But the fact that they're actually going to be supporting the Xbox 360 and the PS3 is actually pretty surprising because those are last generation consoles. And I would personally would like to see them left out in recent games because I think they do hold back a lot of games graphically because they have to do cross-generation developing and stuff like that. But in this case, I guess it's not bad because when you think about it, Minecraft is not a demanding game whatsoever. You know, it's really easy to run. So on something like this, having the older consoles and doing cross-generation, you know, games uh, in this case isn't so bad. And, you know, it is cool. They are bringing it to this many platforms. Uh, but the thing is, it's not going to be rolled out for everybody at the same time. So for people like on PlayStation, Xbox, and probably iOS as well, you might get a little bit of a delay in the release just because, you know... Uh, the networks and stuff may, may, take, may take some time, and especially in different countries like Europe, there will be a little bit of lag there in uh, rolling, the up, or rolling the game out uh, for the initial release. So there might be a little of, you know, delay for you depending on your platform and depending on your country. But for like Android, it's going to be out right away. For PC, it's definitely going to be out right away. Mac probably as well. iOS may take a few days. I'm not sure exactly how they plan on doing that. If they're going to try and get iOS released the same day as the other ones, as most of the other ones at least. But yeah, if you're running a, uh, a console and you're in a different country, and when I say different country, I say probably different than the United States. I'm assuming that's where it's going to be focused more because that is the United States way. I don't know. Games usually release first here. I don't know what it is. Maybe we are the stereotypical Americans that sit around and play video games and watch TV all day. Sounds right to me. I don't know. But that's just how it is. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's the, uh, the platforms. So they don't have an actual price uh, ready for it yet, but they are assuming it's going to be around $5 per episode and 25 bucks for the whole season. So that kind of raises a couple questions like, you know, the episodes and seasons, what do they mean there? I don't know if they're going to try and make it like a TV series type thing where they have 
different games and uh, or different episodes and stuff that you pay for individually or what or how many episodes are going to be in each season. I don't really know why they would do it that way. I think it'd be cooler to uh, just do a game, you know. But on the other hand, they could add on to the story a lot more with this kind of, you know, episode and season thing. They could continue doing the story like they do with TV shows. Because when you think about it, TV shows can go on for 10 years where a movie, you know, you know, that's trying to get the entire story in one film is like two to three hours. Well, not really three. Okay, one and a half, two and a half hours, somewhere in that range. Uh, and the same thing with a game. You know, you can make games, you know, longer than a movie, but having to, like I said, having the TV show thing can keep it going on for years. So on one end, it's kind of smart. On one end, it's kind of weird because you have to continue paying for it. It's kind of cash grabby, I'd say, but it makes sense. Uh, I would wonder if they would bring the price down on the season, though, because I don't know how often they're going to be doing seasons. But if I have to pay for twenty, or if I have to pay twenty-five bucks to get a season like every year, that's a little expensive. I don't know. It's yearly. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird. If they brought it down to like fifteen, twenty bucks, I mean something like that. Just depending on how much each, or how often each season is going to be released. Five dollars per episode. That's kind of high. Depending again how many episodes are in each season. I don't know. Uh, the pricing is kind of weird at this point because we don't really have all that much information on this, you know, how many, you know, episodes are in a season, that kind of stuff. We don't have all the information, so the pricing seems kind of weird now, but maybe it'll make sense later. I don't know. So the biggest question probably everybody has is when will this be released? All we know is that episode one is going to be scheduled to release in 2015, obviously this year. So they said they're not going to be announcing anything at E3, which is next week, I think. Yeah, next week. They said they're not going to announce anything there, but they said they're going to be announcing it at a con in this summer. I think we all know what that means because MineCon is uh, July 4th through July 5th. So that's where they're going to probably be announcing it unless there's another con going on this summer that has something to do with Minecraft that I don't know about, but chances are they're talking about MineCon. So that's when they're going to announce it. It's going to be very exciting to see what they say, and I will cover that information once they announce it because hopefully they'll give us more details about you know exactly how the game's going to work, how much it'll cost, you know, maybe a little more insight about the seasons episode thing and how that's going to work out. That kind of stuff. Uh, that's what I really want to know about. So hopefully they will be uh, covering that in the uh, uh, the announcement at Minecon. So another question a lot of you might have is how to or how? What am I thinking? I'm kind of rambling here. But uh, what languages will this game support? Telltale only really does English. So at this point, you know, it looks like English is the only language they're going to be supporting in this game. Uh, some of you may be annoyed by that because you're more proficient in a, uh, a different language, maybe Spanish, German, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what they're going to do there. I would assume that they would at least bring it into like Spanish or something because Spanish is very common as well as English. So I, I would, you know, I think they should at least go for Spanish. I personally don't speak a bit of English. I said, okay, hang on here. I don't speak a bit of Spanish. There we go. If I didn't speak English and I said that prop, uh, never mind. Just screw it. That was a big mistake. I do not speak English. Wow. Anyways, I think, like I was saying until I screwed up, bring it into Spanish at least. Uh, well, English and Spanish because those are two uh, popular languages. And I get all kinds of requests to. Uh, make MCPE mod locator into Spanish. Great idea. And then Google gets in the way and, you know, does the Google thing of suspending your account and, you know, that kind of stuff. That's Google. But uh, I don't know. I don't speak any bit of Spanish, so I don't know exactly how that would work with me at least. But Mojang, I do know, has made games in Spanish. So I think they should do that and I think they could do it. So I don't know. They did say no info yet, so there is a possibility they could bring it to more languages. 
So that is Minecraft Story Mode. Like I said, I will be covering the news that they announced at Minecon as well as any other exciting announcements that they will have uh, while they are there. I want to know what you guys think. Will you be trying out Minecraft Story Mode? I personally will be. I'm excited to see what it brings to the table because when you think about it, Minecraft's been out for a while and without a story, it does kind of get boring. You know, it's like, you know, it's kind of an off and on thing with Minecraft. You know, you start playing it a bunch and then you quit playing it for a while. Then you start playing it again and then you quit playing it for a while. That kind of thing where story mode and doing the episode and season thing can actually bring some real excitement to the game uh, and kind of, you know, restart the game again and hopefully attract more players. So, like I said, leave your comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.